Welcome back. We are here with the chef from one of the most coveted hot spots in New York City. Like, you can't get in. And he actually has multiple of them. His namesake restaurant has been making headlines for more than a decade. I mean, it is the place. He is the man. And now he's taking over the world with his pasta sauce. I, there's, what do you not do? Mario Carbone! Hello. Hello. I feel very um, excited by the fact that I used to go to Teresi Italian Specialties or Specialty. Yeah, at the beginning. At the beginning, before Carbone was even open. Yeah. I am old school. I am OG. Yeah, I go to all your restaurants. Original. How did like the the idea come of like I I see a a white space in the marketplace and we're gonna go into this. We're yeah. gonna go into grocery. Well, I think because we this is. Everywhere. It's everywhere. Yeah, it's amazing. Uh, it's it's taken off and it's kind of crazy. It's it's uh, nationwide, but you know we can only we can only touch so many people in the restaurants on a night, and we're only in so many cities in the world. So uh, it was an opportunity to kind of reach a much much broader audience with our products. Well, it's got your name on it, yeah. so you want. I have something to with your name on it. You do. Yeah, a little, a little gift for you. A gift. Yeah. Well, no, no. Speaking of official, now you're official. Oh my gosh! Okay, I just became the coolest person <laughs> ever. All right, well, take cook. us through the dish. What are you teaching us to make today? I see lobster. I'm drooling. I've tried the pasta sauce. I cooked with it yep. the other night at home, um, and I loved it. It's got kick and yeah. spice, and I like spice. So this one's got a little kick, a little extra kick to it. This one's a little fancy. Uh, so we're doing kind of a creamy, spicy lobster capellini. I love a cream. I love a but lobster. I love a spicy. fancier than it is. It's, this is a pretty quick thing. Sliced garlic, super thin, olive oil. These are uh, Italian long hots and res... Red, long hots. Long hots. You got some long hots. And red fresnos. Sorry, this is the way my brain works, Mario. I add this the is parsley, what I hear in my parsley head. Parsley early. I like to fry the parsley in the fry oil. Fry the parsley. This is a little bit of green peppercorn. And then we're gonna to need to get to our lobster, right? So we'll let this kind of sit in a second here. That looks so beautiful. So this can be kind of a dangerous job and I wanted to kind of go through it really quickly. So often you want to, you know, you're, you're, you think to kind of try to attack it with your knife and kind of break through it, but the slippery shell is going to cause a bunch of accidents. So I have a better way. You sort of, once you're steamed or boiled your lobster, you can kind of easily kind of detach the tail. Yeah. Um, and then with a really strong pair of kitchen shears, which everyone should have, you can kind of just snip through. Snip through where the little dangly legs are. So you can just kind of pull the meat out of here mm -hmm. without any use of a knife. Comes out perfectly. You know, the claw, the easiest way to go about it is kind of take a bit of your aggression out here. Take a kitchen towel. These are pretty big claws, so you're gonna give, it a, give it a good whack. Please. Oh, oh, oh. We got it. We got it. I don't know what that lobster did to you, but um, <laughs> back to our sauce. So we're going to take our beautiful. Me, I'm just like hanging out with my hammer. Please put the hammer down. Mm. Um, we're going to add our lobster meat to our sauce. Knuckles. Mm -hmm. Give that a quick little fry. So this is raw lobster in this boiling parsley, garlicky chili oil. Yeah, How like long? Lo lightly steamed lobster right now. Like it needs a little more cooking. Minutes, uh, a minute. What's, when should you pull that out? Shrimp and lobster for me, I think, can take a little bit more cooking than people think. You By know? the way, I don't like that translucent no, cook. No, 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 I think I. it's nasty. I agree with you. Thank you. I agree with you. I, I, want, I want a little opacity. Opacity is the word of the day. Bust out all my words. We're gonna for you, add Mario. a little spicy fucking sauce. You're gonna sauce. add a little carbone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little bit of cream will act as kind of obviously the richness, but also a little bit of a cooling agent, and it's gonna round this whole thing out. Well, if you eat something spicy, they hand you milk. Exactly. Right. Um, okay. We have a trivia question going into commercial. Sarah is my owl. Right over here. Okay, I have a trivia question for you, and there's um, something you could win if you get it right. Hmm. That's exciting. Okay, so according to the International Pasta Organization, how many different pasta shapes are there? Is it A, 200, 
B, 600, C, 1,000. Now, don't tell me. We're going to go to a quick commercial break, get your noodle going, and we'll be right back to see if you can win the prize.